So here are my granny squares that I have so far. On my blog I'm starting a granny square series. Right now I have two different styles, granny square styles, on my blog www.helenmaycrochet.com. So I have the standard granny square and the YouTube video tutorial for that. And then the second one I made for St. Patrick's Day. So you have this style granny square. And now I have two more that I'm adding. This one where you can see where the center is actually off to the side. So I made that one. And then the other video tutorial is for the African granny square. So you can see the beautiful flower design and you can add all kinds of different colors that you want for that one. So that one will have a separate video tutorial as well. So I can I think you can see that I'm making a granny square afghan out of all of these series. I'm going to be combining them all later. So that of course they're going to have different sizes and I'm not sure what colors are going to go where or which granny squares are going to go in what area. But you'll be able to see after I'm finished with this granny square series. So I just wanted to show a close up of the granny square that I'm going to show you on video tutorial, you can see that the center is off to the side. This is what it looks like on the other side. And then I just wanted to show you it next to the standard granny square. So you can see that the square, the center is in right in the center. And then over here you can see it's over to the side. So that's the difference between the two. For this crochet project, you're going to need your 6 millimeter crochet hook as well as a pair of scissors and a tapestry needle or darning needle. The yarn choices that I'm using is, I love this yarn. This is a, an acrylic metallic polyester. Some of my leftover yarn. The color is white. And I'm using some of my leftover Red Heart with Love Premium yarn. It's a really gorgeous purple color. And here's some information about this yarn and the color, Aubergine. And some of my Red Heart Super Saver leftover yarn. This color is medium purple. Some of my baby yarn, acrylic yarn. This is Pound of Love, really soft. And my Red Heart Super Saver Jumbo coffee colored yarn. So the first thing you're going to do is just start with the main colored yarn, the center um, yarn color that you want for the, for the middle of the granny square. Go ahead and take and fold the yarn over on itself to form a loop. Take your crochet hook, go right through the loop, hold the base of the loop with your middle finger and thumb, yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through the loop for a slip knot. Now you're going to make a chain of four. One, two, three, four. Then go ahead and take your crochet hook, go into that first chain that you made. We're going to make a slip stitch to form a ring. Just yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through the both loops for a slip stitch. And you can see how you made a little ring. Now you're going to go into the center of the ring, go behind the loose yarn end, bring up a loop, make a single crochet, and then chain two. One, two. That counts as your first double crochet in the ring. Now you're going to make two more double crochet into the ring, so just yarn over, go into the center of the ring, go behind your loose yarn end, bring up a loop, make a double crochet, so yarn over, Turn the hook upside down, go through two of the loops, 
two loops remaining, yarn over, turn the hook upside down, go through the two remaining loops. And then you're going to make one more double crochet into the center of the ring. Then chain three, one, two, three. Then you're going to make another set of three double crochet into the center of the ring. And you're going to repeat this until you have a total of four sets in the center of the ring. So I made three double crochet. That's my second set. Now I'm going to chain three and repeat. So you can see how I finished my fourth set. Now I'm going to make a chain of three and then I'm going to slip stitch into the top stitch of that first chain three that I made. So you go into that top stitch of that first chain three that you made, make a slip stitch, so yarn over and bring the yarn back through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch. So now you're going to want to make a slip stitch into each stitch until you get to the first chain three space. So now I'm in the chain three space, which is the corner. Now you're going to want to change colors. So you're going to bring in your second color, and mine is the aubergine or darker purple. So I'm going to bring up a loop. chain one, turn your work down, and then cut your previous colored yarn and just tie a knot. Then you're going to take and chain three one, two, three, and go ahead and just leave the loose yarn ends. We're going to bury those later. Then you're going to make two more double crochet into this corner. So we're going to be working into each of the corner stitches for this round. So now I have three double crochet. I'm going to chain three, one, two, three, and then make three double crochet into the same chain three space. And then you're going to repeat this into each of the corners. So that was one corner. You're going to go to the next chain three space, make a double crochet. You're going to make a set of three double crochet into the same chain three space. Then you're going to chain three, one, two, three, and then make three more double crochet into the same chain three space. And you're going to repeat this into each of the previous rounds, chain three spaces or corners. So here's one, two, and you're going to make two more, three, four, and then come back. So this is how my work looks so far. You can see how I made the sets in each of the corner. I finished with a chain of three. Then you're just going to take your crochet hook, go into that top stitch of the first chain three that you made, and make a slip stitch. So just yarn over and pull the yarn through both loops on the hook. Then you're going to slip stitch into the next stitch and to each stitch until you get into the corner. And then once you're in the corner, space, 
then you're going to switch colors. So my next color is going to be the pastel pink or light pink. So I'm going to bring up a loop, chain one, cut the previous yarn color and then tie a knot. Now you're going to make a chain of three. One, two, three. And then you're going to make two more double crochet. One, two. Then you're going to go into the space between the previous row set of double crochets. And you're going to make three double crochet into that space. Then you're going to go into the next corner and make three double crochet. chain three and then three more double crochet into the same space. And then this is what my work looks like so far. Then I'm going to make three double crochet into the space between the previous rows, set of two double crochet along the side. And then that will bring me to my next corner. So here you can see I finished a corner right here. And now I have another corner over here. And you're going to finish the corner the same way, except on this corner, you're only going to place three double crochet. So for this round, we're not going to go all the way around. We're going to go back now with this color. So you're going to chain three, turn your work, and then you're going to make three double crochet into that next space between the two sets of double crochet. And then we have one more space to make our set of three double crochet before we reach a corner. So this is how my work looks so far. And now I'm in the corner. So in the corner, you're going to make a set of three double crochet into that previous row's chain three space. and just continue. If you want to keep that same color, but for mine, I'm going to go back to where we started because I want to change colors. So here, if you're changing colors, then you're going to change colors after you finish that set of three into that chain three space on the corner. So now I'm going to change colors. So mine I'm changing to the medium purple colored yarn. So I'm going to bring up a loop, chain one, and then I'm going to go ahead and cut my previous colored yarn. And then I'm going to resume the same way, just chain three, and then turn my work and then I'm going to make three double crochet into that first 
space between the set of three double crochet and then in the next space between the two sets of double three sets of three double crochet and then that brings me to my corner and in the corner I'm going to make three double crochet and then chain three and then a set of three double crochet and then you can see how you have the color moved instead of going all around it's actually going for just one side of the square. Then I can continue making three double crochet into each space between the previous rows set of three double crochet Then for the last stitch, the last double crochet, you go into the last double crochet, the top stitch of the last double crochet on that previous row. For mine, I'm going to add one more round of the medium purple, so I'm going to chain three turn my work and then just make a set of three double crochet and then just repeat and remember in the corner you have a set of three chain three set of three and then when I get back to the end so this is where it looks like so far I'm going to go ahead and go into that space and make two double crochet and then end with a double crochet into the top stitch of that initial chain three. If I can get in there. There we go. The yarn over first. and then I'm going to go ahead and change colors. So this is what it looks like so far. So I'm going to change colors to my brown now. So I'm going to bring up a loop, chain one, and then cut my previous color, tie a knot, and then this one with the brown color, I'm going to go all the way around the square. So I'm going to go ahead and chain three, one, two, three, and turn my work. And then I'm going to make a double crochet into that first space. So it'll be my first set of three. And then I'm going to make a set of three into each space between the previous rows, set of three double crochet until I get to the corner. So you can see how it looks and then I'm at my corner now so in the corner I'm going to make a set of three chain three and then a set of three double crochet so go ahead and repeat all the way around and then 
come back. So I just wanted to show you on the one side we had three here I have three here, the corner, and then three here. So now I want to go into the next space for a corner. So I'm going into that next space on the edge, making my set of three. Chain three, and then a set of three. And then you're going to want a set of three here. So I'm going to make a set of three right into that next. I'm going to make a set of three into this next space. And then into the next space. and then into the next space and then that gives me three on the side and then I'm back to the corner so now you can see my square I have one corner here one corner here and a corner here and I also have three sets of three here three sets of he three here and three sets of three here. So now I finished my last set of three at the top. I need one more corner. So I'm going to use this sideways double crochet to make my corner. So I'm going to go into that space and make a set of three double crochet. I'm going to chain three and then I already have one double crochet here so I'm going to go ahead and make two more double crochet into the same space and then I'm going to slip stitch into that top stitch of that first chain three. Then I'm going to go ahead and finish off. Just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to bury into your work. So now I'm just going to show you how to bury your loose yarn ends. Now for your loose yarn ends, you just take your tapestry needle and you just take the loose yarn end and weave it into the same colored area, the same yarn color. And I just like to go back and forth until I've buried it well. And then once I'm happy with how it's buried, just trim the loose yarn end. This is what the square looks like when I'm finished. And then this is what it looks like to the standard granny square, next to the standard granny square.